Today I'm going to show you how to patch this area here which gets really damaged from the sweat and when I finish that I'll show you how to fix this part on the cote which often breaks when the cote gets old this cote luckily has got some sort of cotton underneath and the deer hair is not spilling out but still needs to be repaired these are the tools I'll use I've got my little finger condom for pulling the needle I've got my little leather thingy for pushing the needle got a hole punch to make a new hole this little pick thing for undoing the cote lace a bit of bond for hold the patch in place this is like a bit of a contact type glue put it on both surfaces let the air get it and then it sticks like shit some polyester thread at a guess I'd say it's about half a millimeter thickness I guess it's pretty thick strong shit and the needle which doesn't show up well on the camera it's uh... Well, I guess it's about four centimeters long and it's got a triangular cut at the tip which helps cut through the leather it's like a some sort of leather needle and then the leather that I'm using is the deer skin, the blue indigo deer skin which my cat loves I also use that for the uh, trim I'll just cut a bit patch off, I'll cut a piece off the end here which I won't use for the trim the leather should be about one millimeter to one point two or four millimeters not too thin not too thick after undoing the lace I've realized that this is really thin and nearly broken here so I'm just gonna cut the hem off and I'll replace it later I'll show you how to do that too it's not so difficult this particular cote was uh, quite difficult to get the lace out so I've just snipped with the scissors and then I just use a pair of pliers just to pull the lace through normally I don't need to do this but in this case it's just easier oh, sorry I don't know if you can see that on camera but that's all I'm doing this camera this cote is a bit really tight for these patches you can use uh, I've got a bit of clarino here a bit of a uh, bluish grey type clarino which I sometimes use on cheaper cote. These ones are Nibu Tezashi. Pretty old, but I'm still going to use the deer skin. Well, I guess you can use anything as long as it's fairly supple, fairly soft. You don't want it drying when it dries with the sweat too stiff and stuff, it'll just break again. So you need something soft. Well, this artificial stuff's usually pretty good too. I'm going to start with a patch around about this size well, it's, it doesn't need to be much bigger than the size of the uh, patch that you're doing you see it's about the, the length of my finger and it's wider than I need to be and I'll sort of cut some angles onto it and fit it and then ready get it ready to uh, patch You can see it's quite bigger than the patch I need. What I'll do is I'll stretch that cote out. Sorry, I'm not good at taking videos. I'm trying to do this by myself. And so I lay that on there. I get a rough idea about the size I need. Like that. I wrap it around. And see here. I need to cut that at an angle so it fits in there nicely so I'll do that first and you can see I've cut me leather on a bit of an angle hopefully it uh... there we go so as you can see it fits on there oh, my camera is not focusing very well but you can see it fits in there reasonably well doesn't have to be perfect because when you stitch it it'll um, fall into place that's about the shape of it's turned out so when I fold it in half and patch it 
the angle parts fit into the uh, joins quite neatly. I've left it a little bit long so when I sew it it pulls the uh, patch right into the joint here and then also at the other end it'll uh, pull into here so it makes it nice and neat if you can get the end right in there so you leave it a little bit long than the length and then pull it right in there now I've glued the, the patch on with a bit of bond not a lot of bond you want to be careful it doesn't dry and go hard reduce the flexibility in the cote you still want to be flexible that's what the inside will look like doesn't look great now but after you stitch it it looks better and you can see I've left it a little bit longer than the joint and then, then when I sew it I tuck it I sew right into that joint to pull the patch right in makes it look neat here too I've got me things on my fingers this is for pulling this is for pushing got me needle threaded don't forget to tie a knot in the end of the thread or else you'll just be pulling your thread through okay. I'll start by pushing the needle straight through the joint and that way when you pull I'll push the needle straight through the joint and that way when you pull the knot will be hidden in the joint plus it will be under the patch so I'm just basically going to start and this will be my start and finish area too and that way on the other side when I tie the knot it will be hidden uh, somewhere in the join here so yeah it's a good place to start joins and finish and joins as well you can hide hide things so here we go get out of it cat so now I've got the thread coming from underneath when you come up you don't go through the bottom of the patch so you come from under the patch and then when you sew you sew down through the patch so here I go down here through the patch don't know if you can see that through the patch back through into the joint and out the other side and pull then from the other side we go through the patch so you always go down through the patch come out the joint and you want to I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to get the good air camera angle but you come up through the patch I mean under the patch not through the patch when you come from underneath pull the thread through well, it's really difficult trying to get a good camera angle I need someone to be a cameraman and then hey, and then you got it through yeah and then from the top you just go a little bit next to where the thread comes underneath and you find your spot through the patch through the joint using this thing push push the needle and then from the other side pull and then once again down through the patch through the joint and then the other side come underneath the patch and then once again go down on top of the patch through the patch through the joint down through the other side push pull and you can see that already the patch is starting to uh, I don't know if you can see that actually the patch is starting to uh, look nice pulling into the joint 